bunny and all. Right, um, you, you'll actually see me this morning. Um, right, first things first is when you order nuts and bolts and various other bits and pieces and shackles and pins and you name it for a rebuild etc. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is tear open all the packages and uh, think you know what they are because uh, two weeks later I'm struggling. Um, I think I've got two bolts short on my shackle pins. I've got two extra of one one, two extra of one and two short of another. Well, it's explanatory really. Um, so I hopefully I can get as much done as I can, but I have to go out this afternoon. Anyway, so this is what I'm saying. When you get your stuff and your packaging and it's all making a nice little pile, keep it in the packaging until you're actually going to need it. Because then hopefully you'll have all the numbers on them and all the stamps on them, and so you'll know where and what goes everywhere. So a little mistake on my part, yeah, I can sort it by checking through the things, but there you go, just a little thing. Don't be in a rush to open and check everything out and then find out that you've thrown the packaging away and you don't know where which bolt goes where. Because on the shackles, there's two different sorts of bolts. Uh, cheers. Right, get a few bits and pieces around you. I haven't painted the bottom uh, U-bolt clamp or the other bits and pieces, but as I said, I'll flash over with a bit of black at the end of uh, this next few days. Uh, starts with the first bolt. Um, wherever I've put that, <coughs> this one, evidently, as I said before, um, this is the front uh, shackle, sorry, the front pin, uh, slightly longer, this section here, you see it goes all the way through, so it actually sits and rides on that, not on the threads, on the back section with the shackles, they'll be threaded into the shackle pin itself, but there you go, so we'll start with the first bolt, put that in there, and then we'll come back in a minute, cheers. The other thing I have to take the rubber gloves off because my hands are filled with water and uh, it felt like I was doing this underwater. Uh, the gloves are soaking wet. I have some other uh, other gloves to put on, uh, cotton cloth gloves which I'll put on. Uh, it's just a bit warm and uh, oh, hopeless for the sweat. Cheers. Also, um, get the shock absorber before you locate onto the pins. You'll find it easier to do. It literally takes two or three minutes to put the shock absorber on. and. Uh, before you actually locate on the pin. I should have set that the other way. But yeah, anyway, you get the general idea and uh, um, you'll find life a bit easier. Uh, okay, cheers. Oh, so that's what you should have uh, look like. Um, I think you'll find it easier to get the shock absorber up onto the top pin. Um, there's six ways of doing it, but I find that the bottom bracket is a pain to get the bushes on. Oh, I think I've done the bushes the right way, but hey ho. Uh, check how you remove them or how you put them on um, but you'll find that the washers are so called handed uh, the smaller ones with the cups in there either side then the big fat washer one goes on one and one is the other one one's a bigger hole one's a smaller hole should be explanatory and then you should be able to pull that up there with a little bit of help from your jack and uh, then attempt to put the back shackles on anyway cheers this is my idea of getting in uh, a, a two ton G clamp, a little windy bar, and uh, puff a pan and uh, pull it in. And that's all I do. Put it on there, oops, it is Twist and very slowly. Find it one so easy. It goes in. Looks a bit Heath Robinson, but. Uh, but it's pounding away with a two pa four pound hammer, which is on the side there just in case. Uh, it's going in, once you've got it in uh, half an inch or so, it goes in square. Cheers. And then you can see a little tiny jack here under the spring, uh, and that will be pumped up to lift it up. Uh, just to put a brick underneath there to give it a bit of height. Locate on the pin, which is here. Don't forget to include this, which is there. It's not painted yet, but I have. And then there you go. Uh, jack it up, line up the holes, pin it off, and that's it. Then I'll come back in a minute. Cheers. Okay, that's one side, Ooh, shackles and pins in. Um, it is a struggle, don't get me wrong, um, not easy. But uh, if you jack that up, hook hook it on, tighten it up. It doesn't sit right at the moment uh, with these because there's no, no weight on them. So uh, once you sort of put the wheels on and there's weight, fair enough, it should sort of square itself up. That was a bit of a tight fit on here. Uh, but don't forget, your shackles uh, threaded one side. So you push your bolts through, wind them into the shackles, 
and a wider ventil tight and back it a quarter of a turn perhaps a quarter of a turn perhaps a little bit more then when you put the nut on hold it so that there's that little bit of movement and it is literally a quarter of a turn back same as the top one so at least then the shackle should free to move backwards and forwards it's no good locking those up rock tight that's why I do it if somebody else tells me different listen to what they do because I know nothing um, I'm just going by what, how I feel that that, that shackle then move uh, and it's got free movement um, put a bit of grease on the bolts there you go got to do the other side that's about it it's getting long video I'll try and edit this down so there you go uh, cheers another little job I've got to do I had to cut the wires I uh, couldn't unplug them from the front so I had to cut them and then push them back in before I weld it now I've got a crimp and uh, I've got some bullets and stuff to get back on and uh, do that little job hopefully that'll be okay I might uh, just crimp and s just crimp them see how they go if not I'll crimp and solder cheers well, that's the, uh, oh, I've got to put the earth to the petrol tank um, petrol senders in I've got to cut the clips uh, there on oh I've actually got to I can put those clips on um, do the cut the on the petrol to put in the tank flop around in but uh, not just yet um, wait for the shackle pins which for some known reason I haven't got two of I've got two of the other ones but I must have would I don't know anyway I've got an oil leak on the stub axle here uh, so I've got to look at that so it looks like I'll be taking off the hub and replacing the back seal because um, when I tipped it up I've got a bit of an oil patch on the floor because I tip the axle up on its end because that's the only way I could pick it up and move it and uh, evidently it must have well it's leaked it should, shouldn't leak anyway I don't think it should do anyway so I've got to do that so I'll do that uh, clean the disc off then probably tomorrow a bit of a blow around with paint and uh, put the brake brakes and everything else in and uh, check round and uh, wait for the exhaust hopefully cheers